Hey, what's up everyone? You know, I'm so glad to see you guys today because it's worship time. And you know how we can worship God besides singing and dancing? We can worship Him by knowing His words, right? So this month's memory verse is this, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. That's right, we can remember the words He tells us in the Bible, because the Bible is true, because God spoke to the people that wrote the Bible. All right, hey, let's worship God with some singing and dancing right now. So get off your seats and on your feet. I'm gonna go where you lead me. I just wanna follow you, God. I don't wanna miss the amazing things you have planned. Awesome. Hey, Weston, buddy, I saw you out there. Evelyn, I saw you too. You know, now we're talking about God, what God has plans for us. God loves us so much that God has plans for us. Tell me, who's got plans for us? That's right, God's got plans for us. So why don't we look at this week's true story from the Bible? Who? Who? You know what time it is? Time to hear a story. Be here soon. Oh, there you are. Look, Stormy. There's our friends. I'm Carrie the dog walker, and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. We've been waiting for you because we want to finish the story about Joseph and God's plans for him. Are you ready for the story? <laughs> I know Stormy is. So today's true story from the Bible begins with Joseph. This is Joseph. Joseph's dad gave him a very special coat, which made some of his brothers very mad. They sent him far away to work. Then Joseph was sent to jail for something he didn't do. Do you think Joseph still trusted God, even though it was hard? Yes, he did. And God's plans for Joseph weren't finished yet. The king of Egypt named Pharaoh had a crazy dream and he didn't know what it meant. He heard that Joseph was very good at understanding dreams, so he had Joseph brought to the palace to talk to him. Joseph was happy to talk to the king about his dream. Joseph listened to Pharaoh, and God helped Joseph understand the dreams. Joseph told Pharaoh to save food for seven years, because after that, there would be seven years where no food would grow. Pharaoh was so happy that Joseph helped him, so he put Joseph in charge. Joseph got to work saving food in Egypt for seven years. It was all part of God's plans. Let's count to seven together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> now look, wow, Joseph saved up so much food which is good because just like God said, the food stopped growing and everyone needed food to eat, including Joseph's family. They didn't have any food, but who saved up all the food in Egypt? Their brother, Joseph. Joseph forgave his brothers for what they did to him and he made sure everyone in his family had food. <laughs> Yay, Joseph. Let's cheer for Joseph because he trusted God's plans for him even when it was hard. Yay, Joseph! And now, let's cheer for God.
because God loves us and God's plans are always best. Yay, God! Hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who has plans for you? God has plans for you. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has plans for you? God has plans for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Hey, Ollie. Glad you dropped in to tell us that true story from the Bible again. You know what? What's that? Yeah, I know. I understand. You know, Joseph, he went through a lot of things, right? Things got good for him. Well, first they got bad for him, right? And then they got good. Then they got bad. And then they got good. You know, we didn't know where he's going with it, you know, but God had a plan for him, right? So he's got plans for us too, right? That's right, Ollie. Hey, kids, who's got plans for us? That's right, God's got plans for us. You know what? We are so awesome that God loves us and he has these plans that we don't know what they are. Oh, maybe you do, I don't know. You bring us a story every week, but I don't know what they are, So, but he does have plans for us. So let me say the prayer. God, you are so awesome. We know that just like you had good plans for Joseph, you have good plans for us too. Help us to trust you every day. We love you, God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hey, Ollie, thank you for dropping in again. And boys and girls, come back next week and see Ollie come and bring another story to us. And we'll find out what happens to Joseph. He's in jail. Wow. All right, say bye, Ollie. Say bye. We'll see you next week, kids. Bye.